Hey guys, what's up? This is Dr. M and today's video is going to be about how to study for engineering exams. Now this might be a bit weird because I am from the biology field and I don't really know much about the engineering field but one of my followers wanted me to make a video on how to study for engineering exams. Now I would not say you should depend completely on my tips but I think this these tips will help and I have talked to some of my engineering friends and I did do a little bit of research and I will link those websites down in the description you can check them out but I, 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 I have compiled a few tips for you guys to do decently well in engineering exams so now the first thing that I would say is to eliminate distractions so this is what I've been telling you all the time and this is much more important when you're studying something technical like engineering or uh, or medicine because these things need your focus you need to be completely into the subject matter otherwise I don't think you'll be able to understand any of it and you'll not be able to recall it or remember it and write it in the exam now the next thing is to create a schedule but I don't think it works for everybody uh, if it works for you it's good if it does not work for you I think you should have a strategy that maybe you you will study for 25 minutes and then take a break and in that break you do nothing that is related to studying so you you completely refresh your mind and then go back and study for another 25 minutes but because you are studying engineering and this is a technical subject maybe you are doing your bachelor's or uh, masters so I don't think 25 minutes at a, at a stretch would be enough for you guys maybe an hour but I, I, I would not say more than an hour or an hour and a half at one stretch because your brain needs some refreshment and maybe because your exams are approaching you might be stressed out and uh, that's why you need to stay calm which is my third point that you should not stress out okay if you stress out you will mess things up now the fourth thing i would say is you need to refer question papers uh, if you are giving uh, university exams or you, you if you are giving board exams you know there is a trend that mostly maybe 50 60 percent or 30 percent or 40 i don't know how much but people like to ask previously asked questions because that is less work for questions setters and uh, I, I, I think that is a trend everywhere so I would suggest you if you if, if it is a high time then rather than just going through your uh, notes class notes or subject books I would say you should refer question papers uh, past previously asked question papers and if you have seniors at your uh, at your university you can ask them about what a particular professor likes to ask in, in in his exams so I guess that would help a lot and research has also shown that those people who practice questions do well in exams so and and, and that's true because you cannot go into an exam and get a completely new question that you had never heard about never seen or never practiced and and make it right at one shot okay it will take some time for you to uh, deduct the answer and I, I would say it is not worth it because exams have a very tight time so now fourth problem for engineering students is because you are studying something that has a very limited concept I would say uh, comparing to biology because in biology what we do is we have a lot of medical terms and a lot of concepts related to each medical terms so and we have different things related to do those things I, I, I don't think you'd want to hear about but in engineering what my friends have told me and what my teachers have told me during my pre made years and what my engineering friends told me was that there are not a lot of concepts and not a lot of technical terms in engineering uh, it is the same F equals to MA in engineering that you studied in uh, class 8 or 9 or 10 but the only thing is that you are applying it into different complex scenarios so I would suggest you guys uh, studying engineering is like studying mathematics and you have to study mathematics in engineering too so I think you should solve more problems this will build a good concept in your mind and I think it will boost your confidence up and if you have exams like my friend in three days I think this is the only way you can do it you need to solve more problems you need to see as much as questions as possible okay now from what my friends have told me 
they tell me that civil engineering or engineering is about diagrams also and that is the same in medicine also uh, we need to study anatomy and anatomy is uh, is, is full of diagrams so I, 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 I also would suggest that you need to study from the diagrams make a diagram maybe uh, I heard that you make block diagrams and schematic diagrams or any diagrams associated with the theory answer and I think if you do these things you could do well in exams and I'm sure that you know what are the high yield concepts and what are the low yield concepts okay so in every subject there are those few concepts that are very important and those few concepts that are not that much in importance in terms of uh, an exam perspective so maybe those things are not asked in your exam so I, I, I would say you skip those concepts now but don't skip a chapter as a whole uh, thinking that it is not important because I don't think that that is how it works okay inside a chapter maybe there are a few topics that are not that important for your level or not not important as I said in the perspective of an exam but as I told you already you should not skip the whole chapter thinking that it is low yield now I, w I would say uh, studying mathematics can be uh, quite stressful or uh, studying engineering can be quite stressful but it's better to fail during practice than failing in exams so don't worry about failing don't stress out about not knowing the answers or not knowing you can ask your friends you can ask your professors you still have some time you can ask your friends and maybe you need to stay motivated and that is the last advice that I have for you guys in such a high time you should not break down you cannot afford to break down and now after watching this video please close all your appliances all your distractions get rid of everything your mobile phone everything you don't need to talk talk to anyone so I would say close all your distractions and start studying I hope you do your best in your examinations and I wish you the best of luck thank you so much for watching thank you so much have a beautiful day happy preparations